Good. Okay. My name's Tom. I'm on the... Uh, I've got a frozen shoulder. If you have a look, you can see that, that my left-hand shoulder is, you know, raised and that. That's the frozen shoulder. I'm on the Facebook frozen shoulder group. I put a message on the... Uh, on that group saying about how I increased my range of movement over a period of three days from what was effectively I could go to there and I could go about to there a couple of days, uh, like within a period of three days I went from that and that was as far as I could get behind me. And in three days using these particular techniques I now am able to go to the back. That still hurts because I've got the frozen shoulder but I do have the range of movement. I can actually go all the way up and I can put my hand behind my back. Now, the way that I was able to achieve that was by doing the normal stretches that my physiotherapist told me to do. But I found that just doing those exercises um, meant that I spent a long hours without really much benefit. My, uh, my sister-in-law, in fact, gave me a massage machine and I all of a sudden um, everything changed. So just to, to say, I, I don't have any medical um, uh, knowledge or, or expertise. What I'm going to show you is just ideas for you. These are the things that work for me. You'd have to work out what uh, works for you if you were going to try this. I'm just going to show you the sort of things that I was doing to give you some ideas that might be helpful to you. So what I did was, um, one of the things I found is that whatever stretching or exercise I did, if I did it with my good arm first, it sort of allowed me to realise, yes, I can really do this particular movement. So that when, even though my left arm didn't want to do it, at least I knew it was okay, it w didn't hurt, it's actually a correct thing to do. Um, the other thing I've got to say is this hasn't cured my frozen shoulder. It's still painful um, and um, uh, all of those sorts of things. I just simply have better range of movement. So the way that I did it was, um, oh yeah, that's right, I found that um, I needed to always give my arm good support while I was doing this. Otherwise, it simply wouldn't, um, it wouldn't work. So the sort of exercises I do was, uh, and I'd um, set up all sorts of little things to, uh, to give me the support I needed, but also the access to my shoulder. So this was the massager that um, my, it was loaned to me. I'm not going to turn it on now because it makes a lot of noise, you won't be able to hear me. So I do something as simple as lie down, say on my bed or something, and I'd move a chair close to me, and before actually I couldn't even get my arm down that low, so I'd have pillows up until there, but now I can drop down a lot further. And I'd just get to a point where I was in a reasonable amount of pain, um, and that I was just getting a tiny bit of support from the pillow, and I'd simply turn my massage machine on, and wherever the pain, where, from wherever I was experiencing the pain, I'd put the massage machine. So I just put it on, and it was like as if it just switched that muscle off. So I'd just run it around to wherever the pain was, I'd leave it there for a little while, I'd actually run it up and down my arm um, a bit, and all of a sudden, I'd find that my arm would just drop. So then I would go and I'd take a pillow out or shift the pillow so that my arm could drop a bit more, and I'd find the bit where it's hurtful, it might be inside, it might be underneath, um, it might be across the top, it might be just around here, it might be down the arm and um, it would drop more and I just kept on doing that until I wouldn't get any, I wouldn't get any more uh, rotate range of movement and then I'd go try a different exercise. So for example uh, I got to the point where I could actually lift my arm so I'd lift it as high as I could still pushing up within and this was causing me quite a amount of pain I'd be huffing and puffing I've got to tell you and I'd just put this on here and I'd all of a sudden find I could lift it a bit further. I'd keep, do it again and I'd go a bit further. And then eventually I just couldn't, it wasn't doing any good so I'd just let it go and I'd find another thing. So I might lie down again and just drop my arm down like that and um, to a point where it was really quite painful but something I could tolerate and again I just um, moved the massage machine around 
where I felt the pain most of all, and all of a sudden it would let go and it would drop another inch. I'd keep on doing that. And I did that for probably three quarters of an hour in the morning, three quarters of an hour at night, for three days, and I've got, as you saw, nearly all of my range of movement back. So I hope this was helpful to you, and, um, and as you explore ways of getting your range of motion back too.